All righty, sci-fi dude number one back with you here at Six Flags Over Texas. Me and my friend Jeff are going to spend the day out here and go through some haunted houses later on when they start the Fright Fest festivities. You looking forward to it, Jeff? Yeah. All right. I went through some of the haunted houses last night with my other friend Mike, Mad Mike, and uh, they were actually pretty good. I liked what they've done with, with the new haunted houses, and I also like the new scare zones. The new scare zones are way more interactive now. Uh, there's more set pieces, more props. Uh, Runaway Mountain is amazing this year. They've done a lot of work with Runaway Mountain to make it uh, more fun for Fright Fest. They've added a Yeti in there and some guy and some great theming and some great sound effects. Uh, so yeah, give that if you ever get a chance to come out to Fright Fest this year, give that a try. And me and my friend Jeff are gonna hang around and maybe meet up with some of the other thrill seekers here and have a good time. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna try and get you an update on Aquaman Power Wave today as well. So yeah, just. Uh, just stay tuned and we'll be see you here in a little bit. We're looking out over the uh, construction area of uh, Aquaman Power Wave, which is coming for next summer here at Six Flags Over Texas. They got the land pretty well ready here. Let me get another shot for you here. And you can see it there. If no, no construction has begun yet, but they got the land pretty well ready for it to begin. So we'll be keeping an eye on this for you uh, because construction is probably going to be, be uh, starting here uh, between now and the end of the year they're going to start construction i'm sure and we'll keep an eye on that for you so i'll see you uh, we'll be back with you in a minute here at six flags over texas Friday, just came out of hell block six with my friend jeff willoughby there he is and uh it's a little different this year not not much different but uh it's it's a uh, it's pretty good haunted house uh, good scare actors it, it is really confusing in there because it's mostly dark and you have to feel your way through a maze and it's too dark to see where you're going, so I would say, uh, I would say if you're gonna go in there, I hope you're not afraid of the dark, because it's gonna be dark most of the time. You like that haunted house yet? Okay, we're off to see it. Uh, we're off to another haunted house now and do some scare zones. And we might meet up with some of the uh, Texas thrill seekers while we're out here. So stay tuned. I'll be back with you in a minute. Hey, we're touring uh, the park on Fright Fest. Uh, Saturday here at Six Flags Over Texas. We can see some uh, coffins and some scenery. We're going through uh, Voodoo Swamp, which is one of the fright zones. They don't have the scare actors over here yet, but they'll have them here a little bit later. This is the time of the night when the, the, scare, the scary ghosts and goblins come out and terrorize the living. That's us. We're on our way to some of the haunted houses. We've already been through Hill Block 6. That was pretty good. They, they did done a good job with that. It's, on, it's in a building rather than in a tent. And now we're going to head over here to some of the newer haunted houses. That's Alien Incubator and Curse of Ra. We're going to try those out and have a good time. We'll be right back with you. All righty, we are now headed towards Alien Incubator here at uh, Six Flags Over Texas. That's one of the new haunted houses they have for this season. We're going to get in line for that down here. And me and my friend Jeff, there he is right there. Me and him are going to get in this, get in this line and get on this uh, or go through this haunted house. And uh, are you looking forward to this, Jeff? Oh, yeah. Alien incubator. Oh, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, we're going to go through here. The line actually moves on this ride uh, pretty fast. Hey, Brandon. And so we're going to go, we're gonna go through there. Go through here. This is Alien Incubator. We're going to have a good time. We'll give you our review of the haunted house once we get through it. See you in a few. In Alien Incubator, and there is the uh, fa uh, facade for that. That's uh, very impressive. They've done a good job with the theming this year for Halloween. And yeah. And uh, we're about to go in this, and when we get back out, we'll give you a review. Stay tuned. Well, just coming out of the uh, Alien Incubator. What do you think of that, Jeff? Awesome. Yeah, it's kind of a cross between Star Wars and Aliens. I like that. Now we're going to go into Curse of Ra, which is right there. You can see it there. We're going to go in that. And we'll be back with you in a few as soon as we get a good review on this. Uh, right, right over here, yeah. So we're going to go down here and get in line. It's on this really crowded Saturday. We'll be back with you in a minute. Alrighty, we're going to head into Alien Incubator here. See you in a few. Alrighty, we just got out of uh, 
Cursor Ra, that was a little bit different, an uh, Egyptian themed haunted house. It's actually pretty good. It's been different than what they've had here in the past. What do you think, Rick? I thought it was pretty good. Next up, we're going to head towards Art of Torture and see how that is. We'll be back with you in a minute. In the meantime, there's the facade of uh, uh, Cursor Ra right there. We are now headed. Yeah, we are now headed to the Art of Torture, which is one of the newer haunted houses here. This one's actually very good. And uh, me and my friend Jeff are going to be going in this one. There he is in front of me. And I'll be going in this one here too. Headed into the Art of Torture. We'll be back with you in just a minute. And there it is, Art of Torture. That's a nice uh, facade, outdoor facade there. It's like a barn. Yeah, it's like a barn. I'm thinking we're going to like this quite a bit, so we're going to go in and give you a review of that as well. So, Jeff, how'd you like uh, Art of Torture? I think it's the best one so far. You think it's the best one so far? I think it's really good. Uh, it's longer than the other two. And it's got the best scare actors, in my opinion, the best costume. The people in front of us got really scared. That's true. Okay, now we're going to head through this. Uh... Now we're going to head up here to Squeal Long Pig in a minute. I'll be back with you in a minute. We are now headed through uh, Squeal Long Pig, which is the uh, revamped scare zone for, uh, from Piggy's Bloodshed, uh, which is one of the haunted houses here at Six Flags Over Texas. We're going to go through that and get a good look at that for you while we're waiting to ride Runaway Mountain. Oh, 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 oh. Unfortunately, people are running around, so it's hard to get any good video. This, this way. We're going to go through here and see what we can see. And it's uh, definitely it's definitely red, I'll say that. It's, it's very red in here. A really good uh, haunted ha uh, uh, scare zone here. We're going to head through this. And see what, what is in here. A lot of good scare actors. This whole facade here, or facade, is just, uh, part of the uh, scare zone, Squeal Long Pig. And up here we can see Piggy's Bloodshed, which has quite a long line on it. And we're going to do that later. Yes, what I'm saying, we'll do it later. Let's head towards Runaway Mountain right now, Jeff. Jeff, Runaway Mountain back here. We're gonna to hit towards Runaway Mountain. We're gonna give. We're gonna go through Squeal Long Pig one more time and give you another look at that. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and then we're gonna go get on Runaway Mountain, the abominable snowman Runaway Mountain. Really scary scare zone here, Squeal Long Pig. Be back with you in a minute as soon as we get up this uh, runaway mountain. Okay, we're headed towards uh, Runaway Mountain, which uh, this year has been upgraded with an abominable snowman, and we're going to try that out. And I know Jeff is interested in trying that out. We're going to get—we got about two minutes before we can get on with our flash passes, so we're going to hang around here until we get the buzz. And, and, uh, hey, Jeff, look at the line there. Of course, everybody knows this is a scary ride, and you can see all of the people waiting. This is a very, this is a very scary ride this year with the abominable snowman, and it's got a, it's got quite a crowd waiting for it, as you can see. But we, of course, have our flash passes right here, and with those, we only wait a couple of minutes, and we'll be going in here in just a minute. And as soon as we get back out, we're going to give you our impressions of this ride, which is going to be good because I've been on it before. And me and Jeff are going to go in in about a minute here and give it and uh, have a good time, and then we're going to come back out and give our uh, review of this uh, new haunted house attraction, this new haunted attraction here, the, the abominable snowman runaway mountain. See you in a few. Yeah. And we are now inside Runaway Mountain, where we can see that the theming is really good this year. We've got little trolls in here. Great theming here this year. And we're about to get on the ride, and I'll be back with you in a minute. 